This is episode 622, and today we're going to be making a little detour from our previous podcasts on peak performance, uh, although very similar topic today, but we're going to talk about two simple ways to enhance your growth. That would be your personal growth, not your growth of your waistline. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know about you, but sometimes I actually feel less than great. There are times where it's just, hmm. It, it life just seems to be different on those days, you know. Whether it's low, grouchy, fed up, and bored, all these words could be used to describe. I'm like on any, any of those days. Probably not the best company to be in. Although it doesn't happen as often as it used to because of my my inner work that I do. There's still those days that come up because I am human and I have those. Mm, Days that just don't feel like in total alignment. And the thing is, days like these are part of the deal of being human. You know, it's not elective. There will always be off days, and that's okay, as long as we understand them and then have a plan to get back to our on days. So when we're off, the best thing to do is to plan for it ahead of time and going, okay, when I'm feeling like this, what do I need to do? What are the things I need to need to look at? And so here are two fun and easy ways you can use right now to climb out of that rut. If you're in that rut of, you know, things, you're just grumpy, you're irritable, you're tired, you're bored, you know, whatever that may be, um, there are ways to get out of it. And this one is going to be sound pretty simple, but do something differently. That is, if you wake up on the weekends, wake up, have coffee, sit around, watch TV, whatever, do something differently. So wake up on the weekend, have coffee, go out for a walk, have coffee, go to the library, have coffee, read a book, don't have coffee, go out, right? Just do something differently. Routines are powerful ways of maintaining energy to be used for more important things, but they can also hold us back when we are not using the routine mindfully. So I would put it this way, rituals are mindful, routines are mindless, such as brushing your teeth. If you start in the upper right, and then you go to the upper left and lower left, Do something differently. Start on the lower left and then go diagonal and see how that feels. Just do something differently. Drive a different way to work. Listen to a different radio station if you're in work, if you have it, or Sirius or whatever you listen to. The key is, and it can be do something small. Like if you always have, you know, eggs for breakfast, have a steak or have dinner for breakfast and breakfast for dinner and have lunch for dinner. Do something differently, right? Because just just shaking up the small things can help with our growth because we're out of the norm. We now will see things differently throughout the day. Once we start the day, and I would offer when you do something differently, do it in the morning so the rest of the day will follow suit. If you wait to the end of the day, you've already done the same routine for the whole day and the evening might not have that big of effect with you. So if you look at waking up first thing in the morning and go out for a walk, right? Just go out for a walk right now. It would be wonderful. Um, and, And that would be a change. Then you come back and have coffee and then your whole day will seem completely different. So When you can do something differently, especially first thing in the morning, it'll shift your perspective of the day. And again, we're just talking about something small, something different. Instead of having cereal, have eggs for breakfast. Instead of eggs, have cereal, whatever it is. But think of what you can do differently. More important, if you make it physical, physical is memorable. So if you don't do anything, maybe wake up and do a sun salutation. Go out for a walk. Stand on your head. Do something different, and it will create this ripple effect throughout your day. The second thing is you can use your intuition, right? Practice maintaining an open mind, playful, experimental, non-judgmental attitude. Uh, Practice making wild guesses in your everyday life. You know, this can be actually pretty fun, even if it's not guesses. if If you just practice building up your intuition and take, you know, four different cards from a deck of cards, turn them out upside down. Don't look at which ones you have and then then guess at which one. Oh, this is the ace of spades and it was the ace of clubs. Well, hmm, interesting. It was ace, but it was the wrong spade. You know, 
this used to be called ESP, extrasensory perception, but that's kind of what intuition is. And and try you know a few simple observation exercises in your daily life. Like we want to tap into that intuition, and the only way we do it is by by listening to it. It's like a, a muscle; we have to listen to it every day, and that could be. Um, when you are looking to purchase something, what is your gut state? Instead of buying the same thing, if you're at the grocery store, what is your gut telling you to buy? You know, if you are going to go to a class, a fitness class, what is your gut saying opposed to what is your mind saying? Um, again, you can play games. There's ESP games online, but we, practicing your intuition can be done all day long. If you have to, if you're going to a meeting and you perhaps maybe really push yourself and don't go prepared, but trust your intuition that you will know what to say at the right time to say it. Uh, that could be a little bit uh, nerve-wracking, especially if it's in front of your boss. But if it's, um, if it's a not-so-important meeting, perhaps don't go prepared and trust yourself that you will be prepared. So using your intuition can be a whole lot of fun. And again, it can be done in, in very small things that aren't that traumatic to your life, but it will help you get out of the route out of the rut again take four cards from a deck of card turn them upside down and guess quote guess which one it is i remember um several ye years ago i took a remote viewing class a technical remote viewing class with uh, ed dames and it was great and it tapped into the uncon the infinite intelligence our unconscious mind and our intuition and after I got done taking that class, my intuition was honed so tremendously. So look up technical remote viewing um, and practice that for a while. That is an awful lot of, not an awful, it is very much fun. Um, that's something that can really, really help with your intuition and how you perceive the world. Again, it's a technical, there's remote viewing and technical remote viewing. Technical remote viewing is the one that the CIA, Ingo Swan, and a few others developed during the Cold War to, quote, spy, unquote, on Russia. But that can help with your intuition as well. So just keep in mind that, you know, too many of us say that we're in a rut, right? We're in a rut, we're in a rut, we're in a rut. Um, when you're in a rut, you don't have the energy or motivation to change things. Or maybe you just have a little bit of energy and you don't know where to put it. So that's why it's important to take tiny, simple steps like the ones I just described, right? Do something different, very small test out your intuition, and that will help mix things up in life, and that will help um, you get out of that rut. So if you'd like to see the show notes on this podcast, uh, you can go over to warriormindcoach.com. While you're over there, you can listen to other podcasts, see some blog posts, uh, learn out how to contact me. And since you'll be on the internet, please follow me on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest under Warrior Mind Coach. 